Good morning. Good morning and welcome everyone, both present here in the room with me and watching online. We are gathered here to continue our consideration of the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution. This meeting marks a halfway mark um, in our considerations of the first topic the, House of the, Oireachtas, the Houses of the Oireachtas has tasked us with, that is to say the Eighth Amendment. Um, the previous two weeks have provided us with an overview of the factual background to and a solid grounding in the legal, medical and ethical considerations that surround this controversial constitutional provision. We have gained an understanding of the legal principles applicable to what is a complex area of Irish law. We have heard from medical professionals about the complicated area of healthcare around pregnancy. We have also had our assumptions challenged by the presentation of the moral and ethical arguments on both sides of the debate. We will continue to build on all of this, this at this meeting. This weekend's agenda, which has which as always demands our fullest attention, is reflective of the work programme proposed by the members at our first weekend and the ongoing feedback and communications with them. I've taken on board the issues members would like to hear being discussed and the information they need to help them to come to a greater understanding of the topic before them. As always, this feedback is taken alongside the work being done by the Secretariat, who are here today, and also um, our expert advisory group, who are here today also, and to whom I'm very, very grateful. Now, I want to uh, explain the current position in relation to submissions. That's submissions by members of the public. Um, this morning, unlike um, the other weekends, we're going to go into private session immediately after this address, whereupon members will spend 45 minutes discussing the submissions the, assemb the Assembly has received. Um, in fact, the Assembly has received in excess of 13,500 submissions on this topic, both by post and online. The members were eager to incorporate the submissions in their considerations. To assist with this and following re requests from the members themselves, the Secretariat generated a random sample of 300 submissions which, were which, which sample was circulated to the members in advance of this meeting. Apart from that, many members have been reading the submissions online as they are being published. A copy of the sample, together with a note of the methodology uh, which was used to select it, um, uh, will be made available on the website. Um, so that, that, that should happen later today. Yeah. And uh, we have um, given the members um, the random submissions in a uh, random selection of submissions in hard copy. And I have to say, it's quite a heavy tome. Um, this morning, um, when we go into private session uh, shortly, the members will debate and discuss what they have read to date in relation to the submission, from the submissions. Um, I would like to take the opportunity again to thank everyone who has made a submission. It was a demonstration of genuine engagement, not only from advocacy and interest groups in this space, but from members of the public submitting their views and often personal experiences as private individuals. Um, this is undoubtedly a topic on which many people possess very strong opinions. The Secretariat continues to work tirelessly to ensure all submissions are made available to view online. Uh, the Secretariat has been reading each and every one prior to publication. They are being published on a rolling basis on the website and are available to view in chronological order from the date received. Um, I should mention that following the decision made at the last meeting, all submissions received from advocacy groups and other interest or representative bodies have been published um, out of date sequence at the request of the members, and they are all online at the moment. Similarly, personal stories received from women and their families with experience of the Eighth Amendment are also in the process of being pri prioritised for publication. As of this morning, 
there are over 7,500 uh, submissions available to view on the website. Um, I would encourage anyone with an interest in this topic to read a sample just to get a sense of the type of issues that are being raised and that we have to consider. Um, the um, public session will resume um, after uh, we, we consider um, the submissions, and that will be at about 10.45. Um, now, I just want to say something about uh, what, what, what will occur this weekend. Um, later this morning, we will take a look at the international position um, with regard to abortion. Members have sought further information on this, and so we invited Gilda Sledge von Gut Guttmacher Institute in the USA to address this topic. Following this, and again at the request of the members, we will look more closely at the United Kingdom and the experience there. We will be joined by Patricia Lohr, Clinical Director at British Pregnancy Advisory Service, and Peter Thompson, Consultant in Fetal Medicine from Birmingham Women's and Children's NHS Foundation Trust. Um, I will say more about each of these speakers, uh, what, these, what each of these speakers have been asked to address immediately before the next session starts, the next public session, that is. Um, this afternoon, we will look at the area of rape. In the first session, we will be joined by Dr. Maeve Ogan from the Sexual Assault Treatment Unit in the Rotunda Hospital and Noeline Blackwell from the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. They will provide us with information around the medical and care path issues for women who are victims of rape and the potential consequences involving pregnancy. It is important to say that Dr. Ogan and Ms. Blackwell will not be advocating for an exception for rape within the current legal regime, but will simply be providing us with factual details of the treatment of a woman who, pre who presents in such a situation. And then Tony O'Malley from uh, NUI Galway uh, will discuss the current law on rape. He will address, in broad terms, the issues which may arise if termination of pregnancy were to be permitted as a grounds, were, were to be permitted on the grounds of rape. Tomorrow morning, our rescheduled second ethics discussion will take place. In January, the moral status of the fetus was looked at. This time, the reproductive autonomy of the woman is being addressed. Dr. Joan McCarthy from UCC will present the pro-choice arguments, and Dr. Donal O'Mahona from DC, DCU will present the pro-life arguments. We have specifically requested that our speakers present the two opposing perspectives to us, reflecting the approach we took at the January meeting, as you will recollect. Um, finally, this, week's, this weekend's proceedings will conclude with a pre presentation from Professor Gerard Bury from UCD about the regulation of the medical profession and relevant issues arising in that context, including conscientious objection. He will speak about what can sometimes be a conflict between the law of the state and the regulation of a profession, uh, and in this case, of the medical profession. The agenda for the weekend is available to view online, and all of our speakers' papers for the assembly and their accompanying slideshows will become available on our website throughout the course of the weekend. I would encourage all of you watching outside this room um, to continue to do so, as we are generating a detailed body of information on this topic, which I hope will be of value beyond the life of the Assembly, particularly to the Oireachtas Committee, which in due course will consider the report and the recommendations of the Assembly. All material that is given to members is also available to the general public on, the, uh, on our website, website that's www.citizensassembly.ie, um, and we're doing that in the interests of openness and fairness, two of the Assembly's key principles. So, um, in conclusion, I'll just r remind you that we're now going into private session for 45 minutes, uh, and that during the private session, the members will discuss the submissions we've received from members of the public um, and from adv advocacy groups. Uh, we will be live again at 10.45 a.m. Thank you very much. Thank you.